there, everybody. This is Tricia Williams with cmcstamps.com. You're joining me today, and we are going to do the funnest thing. I actually did a poll on Facebook and got to get your guys' votes on should I do stamping on a candle or making a handmade puzzle? Guess what I got? You guys, most people, I think 58% of you guys voted for the puzzle. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, you can see everything that I used to make my stuff. So pulling this up, I used the Animal Outing, which you can find on Stampin' Up, and I will have a link for you to shop and buy it below. You should totally get it, it's awesome. Okay, then I used these cute little pizza card boxes. Do you see that one side is shiny? And the other side is kind of matte? They do that on purpose, you can actually put food on this side. So I tend to put this shiny side on the inside and see how you fold it up and this is kind of what it looks like and then you can close it and then all I did you guys was with a little bit of multi-purpose green glue I was able to adhere this onto the top of my box and this is printed from my computer after my my puzzles together I take a picture with my iPhone print it out looks like this and then I cut it with my cutter so you are making the box that it goes in, and you are making a handmade puzzle for you to do with your kids, grandkids, anybody you want. Okay, so let's get started. This is really deceiving. I have it on a piece of paper, but that's actually my puzzle put together. So hopefully you can see it up close. Make sure I'm in view. Yeah, I'm in view. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of my way that I just don't need anymore. Okay, things that I need are my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, two of the stamps, whoops, excuse me, two of the stamps that come in the stamp set, and I need my piece of paper that I was stamping on, which is right here. Okay, this is the thick white cardstock. You want thick because if you don't, it's flimsy. You can't pick it up. It's going to break. You want thick, and believe it or not, you guys, I did two layers of the thick because it made it extra easy to pull up your puzzle. Okay, this is what it looks like. Of course, I've cut it and used a bunch of pieces. comes with 24, and it's Whisper White Thick Cardstock. Once again, I'll put the link to everything below. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and finish the rest of my background gonna open up my memento ink up my stamps and you'll see that I pre stamped a couple things for you already just trying to save you some time so you don't have to see me do all of it on camera and see how I stamp off so you're gonna want a piece of paper underneath you okay so it's really cool this is one of my favorite techniques is just using multiple stamps in a stamp set to make a cool background it's that easy. It's really cool. So you're just uh, making a background. Oh, hey, for anybody that's watching, I want you to know that some of the people from my team are here with me. Ladies, you can say hi. Hello. <laughs> I got an audience already here live. Okay, so you see how I finished stamping that with my Memento Black Ink. And next I'm going to color. Mm, what should we color? Let's color the kangaroo. I think it's the hardest. Look at all the colors I used for the little kanga. Okay, I brought my bronze marker that's a stamp and blend, and I used the fine side. And you notice that there's a thick line here, thin line. This is our thick side and our thin, and it's a little easier for fine coloring. And I'm just gonna color in my little guy. I'm not gonna color all of this for you guys because you get the drift, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I did it so it's easier for you at home. Okay, so I get him in first, then I grab my lightest color, which is the Light Crumb Cake Stampin' Blends from Stampin' Up. And I'm gonna use my thin side again. You can always use your thick if you ever want to. And I kind of just start where I want the dark color going the darkest first. And then as I'm going up, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. There's gonna be some spaces that I might not even color. Okay, then I would grab another color that I want like a little darker, for example, and it would be my highlight. That's why these things blend, because they are alcohol-based, 
and you do your darkest and lightest, and then you bring your lightest back over again and you blend it out. Don't worry, it does dry lighter than that. So that's kind of how I did that. And my really, really dark pieces that I wanted like down here by its tail, I used my darkest color. If you want to know what color I used, it's the bronze. It can be sold, it's sold separately since it's not a Stampin' Up! color. And if you know Stampin' Up! you might know that. Okay, and then I would bring my light color and finish up the towel. And there's a, a lot of layering with this, so don't feel like you have to be perfect. Now, let's say you're like, oh no, I got outside of my line. What do I do now? Well, you bring the color lifter. I love this thing. It's sort of like an eraser of Stampin' Blends. And let's say you got some outside of the line. Well, just color over it. Don't over color, let it dry, and ta-da, magic. It erases. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more coloring for you guys, but um, you can see, let me pull up this sample again. I'm gonna kind of show, I will put up the colors that I used on the blends so you're able to purchase the exact ones I used. I Once again, I did the light and then I did the dark. And I also did very light pool party. Let's see if you can read it. A light pool party stamp and blend on the background and I use my color lifter like crazy to blend it in. So it kind of has like a really cool look to it and good, you guys can see it. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step is cutting it out with the coordinating dies. And these are um, puzzle pieces is the name of it. I put little three so I know that three come in the set and we're using this uh, little square today. We're also gonna use my Big Shot, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my blends out of the way for now. Grab up my Big Shot and show you the rest. Oh, that was heavy. <laughs> Not really, I'm just out of shape. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys, because I haven't finished coloring this guy, I did color one with my son today and he picked out all the colors. My little four-year-old son picked out this cute little monster colors. This is a, a stamp set that has been around, no longer gets sold by Stampin' Up! But um, he really wanted a monster. Okay, can I show you, tell you a backstory of how I started to do these as I'm getting everything set up for you? Um, my son actually was the reason that I started doing these puzzles. I'm gonna show you my other samples that I have. He was like, mom, he saw my dinosaur stamp set before it retired, it just barely did. Didn't it? I think it did. Okay. I think the dinosaur stamp is no longer in the catalog, but my little son goes, Mom, can we do a dinosaur and, and puzzles? Because he saw me have the puzzle piece die cut out, and that's how I got my idea. See how all my pieces are in my box? And then I just uh, printed out the top, and there we go. Now I have a box that we can pull out later. And just so you know, he's done every single one of these stamps, or these puzzles with me. This is one of my favorite. I love the sweet little um, wedding dress on this one. And I did stamp it again with the stamp, or I, I inked it with the blends. And then I stamped uh, one other stamp set there. I think that saying no longer is current, but the, this sweet lady is current in the catalog. Okay, butterfly I think just barely left, but they have a new sort of butterfly, so you can do that. And I believe this one's still in there. Let's let the adventure begin. It's like a tree house, pretty fun. And then this one's an old one, but a goodie. I just, I just love it. All the little animals. So let's go back to cutting. Okay, you're gonna bring out your die cutter and you're gonna have your cutter side down. And then you're gonna have your little monster up so you can tell where you want them to cut. And then just line them up so that you see your little saying hugs and he's all in the line. And you know what is really cool about the white cardstock? So it's, it's the same kind of size as a regular paper. You can actually cut it three times and make three puzzles with one page of cardstock. I thought that's pretty cool. So if you're gonna do this for a class, if you're a demonstrator, you can make lots. Or if you're gonna do it at home, just puzzle away. Okay, let's run it through the big shot, how you know I normally do it with two layers of the cutting plates on there. And then see how cool this is? Okay, so let's say I have a box. I would like kind of punch them out and put them inside of a little box. So 
all I'm doing is punching them out. I don't even know if I was on frame for that. And then you keep all your pieces in another puzzle box. For now, I'm just going to move this. Okay. So now look at this. Pull this back out because I told you that I made mine layered so that it's a thicker puzzle piece. You just run it through on your extra and put it all the way through. Okay, we're done with the big shot. Okay, now I wanted to show you the one that we're actually doing today, which is the cute uh, safari animals. And all I do is cut out a couple of these, punch them out a couple at a time. Then I grab my multi-purpose Tombow green glue. Okay, link below to buy that. And then I'm pulling out just so many of the pieces that I want. I'm going to eventually put all of these together where they are double layered. So let's start with my corners because what do you usually do with a puzzle? You usually do the corners first, right? Maybe not. That's how I do it. Okay, why I chose the green glue. Some of you hate the green glue and you're going to be like, oh, my, finger, my fingers are going to get icky. But I love it because it gives you about 30 seconds to move it. And these are so important to make sure that both of your layers are on, that there's no part seen. Otherwise, it will not fit the puzzle together. So once I've finished a piece, I'm actually going to fit my puzzle together to make sure that it works. I'm not going to do this whole puzzle. I'll probably just do a couple more for you guys and call it a day so that you can see how I did a couple. Hopefully you, this is in view and you can tell what I'm doing. So see how I'm kind of moving it around and if you ever need to, you can kind of slide and make sure your corners are down. And then look, because I was so careful, it fits. So if you're gonna make a mistake, you can make a mistake in the coloring because you can fix that, restamp it, recolor. But try not to make a mistake on this level, it's really frustrating. But if you do, grab your scissors out and you can kind of trim. You're gonna want your black paper trim scissors that Stampin' Up! sells, and you can trim away the edges so that it will fit. Ta-da! Okay, so now I would do my whole entire, whoops, shaking the camera. I would do my whole entire thing, punch them all out, glue them all together, and then voila, you've got your puzzle, and you can do it over and over and over again because it's in your cute little pizza box. And you can just store it. Oh, of course you wanna um, glue your top piece on so you can see what the puzzle is while you're making it. That's our last step. And then I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. This was really fun to teach you guys today. I hope you can make one. And if you do, put a picture down in the comments. I want to see what you make with it. Use any stamps that you have, but it definitely would be fun if you could use this cute little safari animals and make one of these with your kiddos, with your grandkids. So a little bit of green glue because once again, I like to slide it into place. Ta da! Voila! We are done! I think I showed you everything. I did! So, bringing out my stuff again, you're gonna want the animal outing stamp set. You're gonna want a pizza box. Your Whisper White thick cardstock. And your die cutters. Okay, so hopefully you can see. Oh, these are so cute. I love them. I want to go play with them with my son, so maybe I will tonight. Thanks so much for coming. Make sure that if you're interested in any product that you shopped, and there's a link below, and you can visit me anytime at cmcstamps.com. Thanks. Bye.